I am on a quest for clarity, a quest for a higher consciousness. It begins with what I wear, but it's so much more. I'm Tarzo. A lot of people refer to me as the Lord of Style. I kind of started out on Instagram, just doing a few posts of what I wore every day. Op shopping came about just for the, the options. It's so unique. Every, every op shop you go to, there's like a million different things and they're not likely to be anywhere else. My clothes are either secondhand or they're supporting a band that, I've, that I like or they're, it's a local artist, like a fashion designer. So that's basically the only things I will I will buy. I'm only willing to spend money if I know where it's come from. My money's actually going somewhere. It's not just going to retail uh, and to making a profit. It's actually useful. You know, it's kind of ethical shopping to my mind in the sense that, um, you know, uh, whatever I purchase has an add-on effect. So it's, it's a, a, a nice way to kind of rethink uh, having a material sort of uh, emphasis in terms of consuming. I love the history that an op shop has. Like every, every piece of clothing has a different story. You don't know where this pair of socks, how many families it's lived through, how many family events, traumas, journeys, holidays, how many times it's been to the local swimming pool, you know, all that stuff. Every, every piece of clothing has a history and I just like acknowledging that. If you were to look at the history of fashion and haute couture, uh, which began, I guess, you know, at the, at the fin de seal, you know, the end of the 19th century, where we actually saw fashion labels really starting to come to a fore. And at that point in time, you know, it was all about the original piece of clothing and having an original item. And then, of course, manufacturing kind of took that over. We actually saw mass production of clothing because people would desire uh, a particular item. Or, you know, there might be other elements that come into play, like how they ought to be looking at within a workplace and so forth. So the idea of mass production and consumption is not new. I think trends are really important. And I think historically, when you look at any kind of uh, time, like decade or whatever, if you look at the 60s, everyone's kind of wearing the same thing. And if you look at 20s, everyone's wearing the same thing. If you look at 17th century, you know it's 17th century. So I think it's important that there's trends to kind of, to look back on. Fashion has always kind of been used to determine where someone sits in, in society, like what class they're kind of in. So like the royals have always had, you know, the extravagant embroidered gowns or you know, jewellery. It shows a, a particular personality, it shows where you're coming from, it communicates so many things that just aren't about fabric and textile. I want to change the perception of what it means to be a human. Freedom from judgement and ridicule. A chance to be who you want to be without fear. So what are we doing here today, Tarzan? Well, Dan, as you can see, we're at Savers, the recycled superstore, and um, Today we're going to be styling you. We're going to be pushing some boundaries. Guarantee you yeah. we're going to find some cool stuff. All in right. There. Yeah. Let's ready go. to go? Let's go do it. What we notice about him is he's got a nice slender figure, elongated neck. He's got strong jaw lines. Um, quite a firm body, but slender. So we kind of look at stuff that kind of just just helps the figure out. Absolutely awesome. I feel like I'm wearing. Um, How do you feel? Yeah. Like thermal clothing. Oh, yeah. That's basically what I can say. How do you feel? Like, do you feel colourful? I feel way too colourful. How's the shoes? They're awesome. These shoes are comfortable as shit, though. Are they? Yeah. Are they're... the leggings not comfortable? They are, but like. I feel like I should be wearing pants. Feel a bit, yeah. <laughs> Have reservations? Feeling a bit nude. Yeah? <laughs> How would you feel walking down the mall on that one? A bit interesting. Yeah. yeah. You look really cool. Like, you look super cool. Yeah. That's, so what we've got here is that we've got the flowers on flowers, and then we've got the stripes on stripes, so it adds like the contrast. We've got the stark kind of elements, and then the kind of free-flowing natural elements. 
It's working really well. I feel, like, awesome. feel like I'm wearing pajamas and like the. I'm actually things super on, like, jealous. Up my crack. Everyone suffers confidence issues, and it's something that I sometimes suffer from. And you know, sometimes it can be debilitating for some people with really low self-esteem. I think everybody feels self-conscious in the clothing that they wear. I think that that's just human nature at the end of the day. And I think um, I certainly don't take the risks with the things that I used to wear when I was, say, in my 20s or even in my early 30s. I'm a bit more, you know, I think I'm still a little bit eccentric in the, in the way that I look, but I'm a little bit more conservative these days. People become too fixated on, on what they are rather than who they are. So we, we, we fall into these kind of stereotypes. We fall into what we think we should be or what we think we should wear. And I, I encourage everyone to try and get past that, realizing that that's what makes you who you are. And that's why, that's why everyone's special because we all have something different about us. So here we are. You're in the, the get up we've chosen for you. How are you yeah, feeling? So, uh, I'm feeling very insecure at the current point in time. So it's our first time we're about to enter the public domain. Yeah. You comfortable with that? We're about to oh, have I, a lot of I'm, people looking at you. As comfortable as I'm going to get. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we'll yeah. see how you feel after. Yeah. You reckon, should we go? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, Dan, so what's the verdict? Uh, these clothes are like super comfortable, but like I just don't feel like comfortable within myself wearing these clothes. So it's just weird like I'd like to get better like at wearing more different clothes but like how, how did you take other people's comments because a few people quite liked the outfit didn't they? Yeah they did yeah. They, they did really like it but um you just not quite comfortable? Me, no still not quite comfortable wearing them but yeah I don't know. Well that's I guess that's something we're trying to challenge just and this is this is part of it it's trying to challenge yourself and push yeah. yourself like further than you would normally go. I am on a quest for clarity a quest for a higher consciousness it begins with what I wear, but it's so much more. I want to change the perception of what it means to be a human. Freedom from judgment and ridicule. A chance to be who you want to be without fear. Humans united through fashion. I am partaking in a spiritual development through cultivation of personal wisdom, through self-control, through truth, through a lack of judgment through my clothes, we can all have style, and together we can find bliss.